Hello there. Thank you for joining me today on another series of The Digest. Today I'll be speaking on another uh, dimension of the message I titled The Cost of Sacrifice. The Cost of Sacrifice. There's a king in the Bible, in the Old Testament, that gave everything to God. He sacrificed a lot to God and God gave him a reward. I'm speaking about King Solomon and I want to read just three verses in the uh, book of 1 Kings chapter 3. 1 Kings chapter 3, verse uh, 3 to 5. I'm reading the NLT version, the New Living Translation. Solomon loved the Lord and followed all the decrees of his father, David, except that Solomon to offer sacrifices and burnt incense at the local places of worship. Verse 4. The most important of these places of worship was at Gibeon. So the king went there and sacrificed 1,000 bond offerings. Verse 5, that night the Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream, and God said, what do you want? Ask, and I will give it to you. That was at a point that Solomon gave everything to God. And today, I want, to look, I want us to look at a particular aspect of this message, humility. Even as a king, Solomon gave everything just like David did the other time that I spoke about. He gave everything to God. He gave everything, 1,000 bond offerings he gave to God. And not only that, he slept there and gave his time as well. He gave 1,000 bond offerings. I imagine why he, didn't, why he sent somebody or some servant to go and offer the bond offering on his behalf. He went by himself. And not only that, he slept at Gibeon that night and God visited him. There's a reward that awaits every man, every woman who is able to offer his heart unto God. Not only his substance, but his heart unto God. Solomon gave 1,000 bought of it and slept at Gibeon that night and God visited him. And God said, ask me. He gave him a blank check. <laughs> he gave him a blank check. That blank check was what do you want? Tell me something. And Solomon asked for wisdom, a heart of understanding and knowledge. And he became the wisest man on earth. He became the wisest man. Not, not only that, God blessed him. He, he made, him very, we made him very wealthy. He made him very, very rich and became very popular. Not only that, he was so wise. He was so wise, knowledgeable, he had understanding, a mind of understanding, series of things that happened in Israel at that time, God gave him peace. And throughout his time, throughout his reign, he never fought any, any fight. He, did, he didn't have any, any war to fight. It was a peaceful reign because he took a decision to give everything to God and to be humble enough to wait after giving. God is asking you today, is asking us today to give our life, our, our hearts unto him. And not only that, to give it in humility, not that you offer something, your substance, and you are proud about it. No, we give him with all humility, with all meekness, and then see what he will do. Even in this season, season that is tough like this, God is seeking people who are able to offer their lives, offer their hearts, they have substance, not only your heart, you have substance to offer to God. He is willing to bless you. He gave him everything he needed to reign as a king in Israel. And I believe that you're taking a decision today to offer your heart, to offer your substance, to offer everything unto God. He is willing to bless you. And I pray that he will bless you as you take a decision today to give more. This series is the cost of sacrifice. And I hope to see you again. Thank you very much for listening. God bless you. Bye.